Okay, we're going to cook my tuna fish pie, packed full of lovely mushrooms, onions, tuna fish, and maybe a little bit differently, some tomato soup. But it'll taste absolutely wonderful. Hopefully you've got your pan on, getting nice and hot with some oil in it, and your pan of uh, salted boiling water for the potatoes, and we can get straight on and just pop the mushrooms and the onions straight into your frying pan. We'll just give this a stir round and all we're going to do here is just cook out the raw flavour of the onion and just start cooking the mushrooms. We can just add in a pinch of pepper and a good pinch of salt. And just keep giving everything a stir around. As soon as you can start smelling the onions cook and the smell changes from a smell of raw onions to a smell of cooking onions, that's the point that we're, we're looking for. Okay. This is such a great dish. I've had this meal for as long as I can remember, ever since uh, I was a little boy. Absolutely heaven in a bowl or on a plate. There you go. It's so easy to make this as well. Just frying off a little bit of onions and mushrooms. Then we're going to add in the tuna, the soup. I know it sounds wrong when you say that, but it really is delicious. And then we'll pop it in the pie dish, pop it in the oven whilst the potatoes are cooking, and then it'll be pretty much done. There you go. Hopefully you can start smelling the onions cooking now. That's exactly what we want. So we can turn the heat off and then just add in the tuna straight in. and then the soup. And use, the reason why we use condensed soup is that you can control how much liquid because you don't want this absolutely swimming in liquid but we'll need a little bit more than this so just very gently stirring it together because you don't want to break up and completely obliterate all of the, all of the tuna. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the can just a little dash, probably about a quarter fill, and I'll just give it, hopefully without spilling too much, just a little swirl around the, the tin, just to sort of clean the inside of the tin. We'll add that in as well. And then just give that a nice stir together. And that should just loosen it. That's all that we want, is just to be nice and sauce-like, but not swimming in it. There we go. So I can bring in my pie dish. And then we just need to transfer this, the contents of the pan, into the pie dish. And I'll try and do this the other way around so that you can see it. There we go. And I'm not even spilling any yet. Pan down. We go and just lightly press down just to get everything nice and smooth in the pie dish. And can pop the pie dish onto a baking tray. Oops, there we go, did spill something. And then all that's left to do is to drop the potatoes into the water. Go. Just carefully without burning myself.
and then just pop the pan into your oven for 15 minutes whilst the potatoes are boiling away. Once the potatoes are soft enough to mash, just drain the potatoes, take the uh, dish out of the oven and we'll be ready to go to the next step.